Hey friends, this is Dad Helpful Dad with another quick tip for you about Netflix. Today we're going to talk about how to create and manage kids' profiles on Netflix. And, you know, we make lots of video tips for you about, you know, watching TV online, whether that be tips about how to use Netflix or Amazon Prime or the different streaming TV apps. You can find us on YouTube at The Helpful Dad, or you can go to our website where you'll find us at thathelpfuldad.com. Here's some examples of the content that we write about, and you'll get a chance to see reviews, honest reviews on uh, the different streaming services apps, as well as just, you know, different things to be aware of. I'll put a link in the video to description. But for now, let's get back to Netflix. I want to know how do we create kids' profiles. Now, you can do this on the app itself, or you can do this on a computer. I'm going to do this on a computer, and if you do that on a computer, we're going to go to the top right-hand corner. We're going to access our profile area. On the app, you would go over to the left-hand side where you get to the menu on the app, and at the top is where you access your profiles. Here, we're on the computer, and you can see we have currently four profiles set up. You have Mayan, and then we also have Mommy, Jiho, uh, and Jax, my sons. But if you click on Manage Profiles, you're going to be able to see we have four profiles currently. Now we have two kids already set up, Jax and Jiho. And if I wanted to change their pictures, I could do that here. I could change their name. And I could also change their content level. Now this is going to only restrict them. Because these are set up as kids' accounts, which I'm going to show you how to do in a moment, they're automatically set up with parental controls installed. So they can only watch either little kid only shows or little kids and only shows. So Jax is 10, so we give him the ability to watch, you know, the, the um, older kid shows as well too. But if I wanted to go to my four-year-old, oh, he actually should be under the little kids. <laughs> we need to save that. So Jiho's only four, so he's going to be under little kids. If I wanted to add a new kid's profile, though, how do we do that? We click on add profile, and we're going to put this as kid number three. And if we select this box of kids, if you check that, you're automatically going to be able to restrict the content to kids or below. So let's go ahead and check that, and we're going to continue. Now, if I want to go ahead and change his profile picture, I can come over here, and I could give him a, let's see, where do we want a profile picture from? How about this here? All right, let's do it. So uh, then we can change their name and what have you. And as you're going to see, by checking that box, kids, I have these two options automatically installed. Now, I want to show you why this is important because if you go under my profile, you're going to see there's multiple different maturity levels, teens, even all maturity levels. But when you select the kid box, you only get the top two. So that's the benefit of selecting the kid profile. And then the other thing is, normally Netflix, so if I'm watching myself as Netflix, you know, I'm going to see lots of different content that's available. But when I go to, let's say, my four-year-old, his is going to look a little different. See, it's a different uh, mode, and you're going to see only kids' content is available. So this is the benefit. If you want your kids to be able to watch some content with, where maybe they're on their own and you're not necessarily always around uh, in their room with them, then you can set it up like this where they only get that kids' content. And that's why you want to be able to set those profiles up. And again, you can change that mode by going back to that right here. So that's the benefit of doing the kids' profiles. Hopefully the tip is helpful. Now I'm just an average Joe, so I don't know everything. So if there's something I overlooked and you could point that out to me in the comment section, I would appreciate it. That way we can all learn together. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.